I'm just breaking this down from a completely unbiased perspective for you. You're welcome. <laughs> So I see more and more advertisements for install solar panels on your home at no cost or, you know, free solar panels for your home. A lot of the advertisements have this like connection to the government is helping pay for and they throw that in or the power company is, is providing a program. And these are really salesy, effective things that make you wonder, okay, are they free? I'm gonna break down the cost of a solar panel system. The solar panel systems are extremely expensive. So if you check out right here, average size system, eight kilowatts, is going to cost you somewhere around $25,000. There is a federal tax credit now for this year with the new legislation that it is 30% of the cost of the system, which in this situation would be $7,500. That system is going to produce an estimated 11,200 kilowatt hours per year. That electricity is valued somewhere between, uh, let's say $784 and upwards of $2,000. Now that's going to depend on the actual cost of a kilowatt hour in your area and specific to how you're being built for that kilowatt hour. But if we're just saying that the electricity your solar panel system is produces is being sold to the power company for the same price that you're purchasing it, electricity is worth somewhere between $700 and $2,000. If you were to take your solar panel system and you were to finance it, generally you have 10, 15, and 20 year terms on solar specific finance options at somewhere between one and 5% interest. The whole finance side is a completely different conversation, but to simplify things, that's what you have. The monthly payment on $25,000 at 3% for 20 years is going to be like $140 per month, or it's gonna be like $1,680 annually. Now, if you put that on 15 year terms, you're looking at $172 per month, and you're looking at $2,000 annually. You purchase a solar panel system and you use a loan that doesn't require a a down payment and the cost, the payment, the monthly payment for that loan is the same or less than the amount of money you're saving on electricity from the power company. You're just taking money that you're giving the power company and you're giving it to your solar panel system um, through a loan, no cost. I feel like this is true and it's especially true if you're doing like a power purchase agreement where you're just paying for that electricity because you don't own the solar panel system and you're just simply paying for electricity um, that it produces. But there's there's kind of a catch, and I would say it's not zero cost because there's a few things that happen to people in different situations that could make it so that solar panels are extremely expensive for them and not saving them money. The first one would be a lot of the loans assume that you're getting that tax credit from the federal government and you're applying it to the loan within the first few months. If you don't do that, your payment for solar panels will increase. So if you're buying solar panels, you need to understand that. Is the loan assuming that the federal tax credit is going towards it? Then you need to make sure that you're eligible for the federal tax credit and that you know that you need to make that lump sum payment. Another situation that I find is that if you get a solar panel system installed and it doesn't work. Either it's not producing the amount of electricity they said it would, or it's broken and not producing any power or less power. You're still going to have to make those monthly loan payments, but it's going to be offsetting none of your electric bill or less than what you expected on your electric bill. The other way people get screwed over is on power companies agreement. So when you have these grid tied solar panel systems that you're buying for your home, you're selling the electricity or excess electricity to the power company. Now these agreements that you have with the power company may only last for so long or may change and that will affect the financials of the system. For their solar panel systems, I'm gonna add one more thing in there, completely unbiased advice to you. If you're buying a solar panel system, do not finance it on a long-term loan. Hey, thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you supported my channel by liking the video, subscribing, and then checking out the rest of the content that I have posted.